to be one. Hello guys, again, this is Yundel. I want to share with you some thoughts for today. This is about self-development and this is about asking questions to ourselves. So guys, I am sharing with you what you want in your life. How to create what you want in your life. How to create, guys. In my previous video, I am speaking the desire of our heart. Here, how we can fulfill that. How can we create to what we want? How to create that, guys? Have you ever think about it? How to create what we want in our life? Guys, as I read here, there are three, <laughs> three steps to fulfill and create what we want in our life. This is not an easy journey, but guys, this is about your life. You must be aware what you want, how to create what you want in your life. Have you ever think it? Now, you must begin to think it because you feel it, you want it, and you must create it. How can we create what we want in our life begins with, yeah, there are three steps. But it begins with ask, believe, and receive. So guys, this is not an easy road. You have to ask, you have to believe. And you have to receive because you want it. It's like you have the desire in your heart. You want it. You have to fulfill it. You must find a way to get what you want. So guys, it says here, ask, ask from God or the universe what you are believing. Ask the spirit within you. You have the power within you, but guys, you have to know yourself. Again, this is about respecting yourself, knowing yourself, loving yourself. Then it is easier for you to ask yourself what you want when you know yourself. But guys, it is always important that you have the moment with yourself to contemplate, to have a silent in with yourself because that is the time you get, you find the answer what you are looking. So guys, again, being silent with ourselves is very powerful and that is about the power of meditation, the power of prayer. You have the answer in all to your questions and ask where we are going to ask here in this earth is easily to ask right away to our parents to our loved ones to our yeah guardian or whatsoever ask and ask and ask but since i am alone here i live alone i have my children i have to do my own decision still i have to ask you can ask the spirit within you why you want this why you desire it why 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 yes again you must know your why so guys ask and the second is believe when you have done the work asking meditating praying you done the work to ask it's a big step you have to ask to the universe or god i ask god all the time because i am alone i don't have family here i have my kids but i cannot ask my kids when it is a bigger decision in our life guys it is not easy ask where you believing in if you believe in god if you believe in buddha what you are believing in ask and have a moment of silence with yourself when you ask, it is also written in the Bible, guys. Ask and it shall be given unto you. But again, there is yes, no, wait, and maybe later. So guys, you have to ask. Yes, we must do the work to ask. The second is believe. And this is the most difficult thing because 
you must believe. And it is not easy to believe when you see the circumstances is so difficult. The situation is very difficult. All those things is so difficult to believe. Especially when you are at the top of your problem. It is not easy. It's always about being aware, loving yourself, and know yourself most of all. Because if you know yourself, then you know how to respect yourself. So believe. Believe has a power in it, guys. This belief, it is very difficult. And yet, it is the greatest step of all. Why? This is a big deal that you believe that you receive the thing. Therefore, here you must begin to visualize. If you want a car, you want a house, whatever you want in your life. Therefore, believing is very important. Believe that you can be healed. Believe that you can be successful. Believe, believe in everything you know because it can affect to yourself in your subconscious mind and with the prayer and meditation, the universe will deliver it to you in its perfect timing. Believing contains no doubt. Believing contains no lies. Believing contains honesty when you believe something you are honest with yourself that this is what you want because you are creating you want to create what you want in your life right so believe is absolutely faith despite of the circumstances there's always going on around us guys it's not always easy a lot of things is happening around us problems comes and goes Trials come and goes, and it is so very difficult to live with it. So when you ask, then you believe. It says, hey guys, you must feel that you have that already. When you believe to have that thing, to have that person, you can begin to visualize that you have that in your hands already. See, there is power in believing. Despite of the circumstances, things will open when you believe. So guys, you already work with the asking. You already work with the believing with yourself as if you have that already in your hand. You believe it, you visualize it, and asking for the Holy Spirit that it is there given to you. So believe. The third is Learn to receive. Be a great receiver. When things drop into your lap, it is a blessing and it's time to say thank you. Believe that you receive it and be grateful all the time. So it says, uh, guys, you must be even say thank you before it comes to you. Thank you before it arrives to you. Thank you before you have it in your hand. Be ready with your feelings of receiving. Yes. Ask, receive. Ask, believe, and receive. Because when you appreciate that you receive that certain thing, when you appreciate yourself, that I can have this thing. You have that in your imagination already. You visualize it already. And it will be delivered on to you. It's very difficult, guys, to believe when you don't have nothing there at the moment. How can I believe that this thing coming to, coming to me? It's so difficult. Because, yeah, circumstances. There's no, not enough financial things I can yeah, supply for this wish or this desire. There's always hindrances and negativity, guys. But just feel the believing that you can have it, put it in your mind and your heart, mind and heart, because it says there, when you believe, you have to receive it. Yeah. So, it is been done. When you ask, believe, and receive it is been done that it's Caesar believing 
mean, remains steadfast and it will come. Despite of the circumstances happening around you, you will receive it when you feel the believing with faith. Believe us, believe and receive. And you must be grateful, be ready to receive it. Because it is a blessing, you've asked it, so you must be prepared as well to receive it, right? So guys, this is my share with you today, how to create what we want in our life. Again, I must mention it again. Ask, believe, and receive it. Be a good giver and be an excellent receiver. You are an excellent receiver by reading yourself. You must be ready with yourself. The things you wanted, it's on the way. And you receive it in its perfect divine timing. Again, guys, this is Yundel. If you like my message, kindly, guys, click the like button and the notification button. So you are always notified every time I am making a video. This is not an easy life journey, guys. I am sharing with it you. Maybe you notice I say it again and again. The words, I've been mentioning it again and again because the more you see it, the more you repeat it, the more it will absorb in your mind and it can be done into practice, so into action. So guys, thank you so much again for following me. I am, for great, I am forever grateful to each and every one of you. I might be so tired after work today. My mouth is mumbling, but I'm grateful that you are here with me, listening me. My topic for today is how to create what we want. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here with me. I am forever grateful to each and every one of you. Thank you so much, guys, and I love you all.